Hi everyone, my name is Jenna Nelson and I'm an application specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics. Today I'm answering your question, how do I rotate an image in Global Mapper? So in my workspace, I have an example image that I'm going to show you how to rotate. Rotation is actually one of the transformation functions that can be found by right-clicking the layer in the control center. So down near the bottom of this menu, you'll find there's an option that says shift selected layers of fixed distance or transform coordinates. We'll select that option and we're not shifting we're actually going to be specifying a coordinate transformation. We don't need to actually translate the coordinate. We're just looking at the rotation angle. Now, in order to rotate, though, we do need to supply an origin about which to, to rotate the image. Typically, you're probably wanting to rotate about the center of the image. So we'll need that coordinate that would be at the center of the image. If you don't know that coordinate, you can follow me in the next few steps and we'll obtain that information. So back in the control center, I'm going to right click on the image layer again. And this time down in the layer menu, find the option for a bounding box. So this is going to create a layer um, that will be a bounding box for this image. I'll choose yes to create a rectangular bounding box. All right, so now that I have the vector bounding box, I'm gonna select that polygon with the digitizer and right click again. Now here in the advanced feature creation options, there's an option to create a new point at centroid of selected area feature. So this option will create a point so that we'll have that coordinate at the center of this polygon. I'll just save this as a new layer called center. And now we'll be able to uh, look at this point and get that coordinate. Now, it's important to note that the origin um, in, the, in the rotation will need to be in the same projection as the original image projection. So you may want to check the metadata of your image layer and just check that projection there. So you see my projection is in a UTM zone and I actually had my workspace set to that same uh, projection so that when I created the bounding box and the center, center point, they are in the same projection. So now I have th this coordinate, I have the X and Y values that I can copy into um, the rotation parameter. So let's go back to the image layer and right click on that image in the control center. Back to the option to shift or transform coordinates and choose specify coordinate transformation. All right, I'm gonna now paste in the um, X and Y values. And then I can also supply the desired rotation angle. And I click OK. And we should see that the image will rotate the desired angle. And I'll turn off my bounding box so you can see just the rotated image. If you have any questions, visit our website at bluemarblegeo.com or email us at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.